What up guys, welcome back with the new true video. Um, I know this is kind of goofy because I have the hat on. But I'm just putting it because obviously... Um, title of the video is... The new Whopper. She's have so many water bottles and stuff. But today, uh, we're trying um, the new Whopper. It's the purple one. I think they changed up the cheese. I'm not really sure. Um, obviously, the regular Whopper, they don't put cheese on it. Not a big Burger King person, but when they do colorful burgers, they tend to make it good. I don't know why they don't do that with regular Whoppers. I mean, obviously, you have to ask for the cheese and all that. I don't know. I just don't like that they don't do it by itself. But my point is, I like these colorful burgers because they put flavor into it. So, yeah, there's Swiss cheese, tomato, all that stuff that you have in a Whopper. Just different is the color bun and obviously the cheese that they put in. I think if you put cheese on a regular Whopper itself, it's just... The yellow cheese that we know. Mm. For a Whopper, I have to give it a 9 out of 10. It has a really smoky taste to it. It has a smoky taste of uh, the meat on it. Very good, tender. Um, the seasoning obviously has a lot of mayo to it. Um, very good. So yeah, we tried that. Um, we're gonna try the onion ring. We were gonna get the regular fries, but I mean, you could switch it up with no charge. The onion rings, we're gonna get an onion ring by itself. Mom around your ring, 7.5. Obviously, the onion rings are a lot better than the fries and Burger King. Burger King fries are kind of like, in my opinion, they're hot and ready, but they're lacking legs. It's dry where you have to put ketchup on it. I like a good fry like McDonald's where you eat their fries and you don't have to put ketchup. And it also comes with this zesty sauce. It has soybean oil, water, all this stuff that you, if you want to read it, that's on your own. Right off the back, it looks like a Big Mac sauce. Mmm, it is a Big Mac sauce. Um, maybe a little bit more sweeter than Big Mac sauce. Like the ones at McDonald's. Obviously Big Mac sauce. But it's very delicious, a little tingly, like a little spicy a little bit. But I think it goes good with the fries. With the sauce, with the onion ring. Um, give it 8.6. But a range itself, like a 7.5. I'll be nice, a 7.8. A little bit more. So we did that. Um, the drink, we just got a Coca-Cola Frosty. I'm pretty sure you guys seen this before. It's been a while, I ate Bird King, so I don't know. It's pretty good. It reminds me of the 7-Eleven um, Coca-Cola Sunday. Last but not least, my favorite part out of all of this, the churros, chocolate sauce with the churros.
Mmm. So that sauce alone. So yeah, you guys could get like the four piece, eight piece. We just got four piece because obviously um just wanted to try it out. Um I'll try the true by itself, but before I continue, uh, the sauce itself, it tastes like the Hershey shit that you put on your like that syrup stuff that you could put on your ice cream or you just put it on your mouth. It tastes exactly like that syrup. Um, oh yeah. Mmm. Oh my god. Wow, these are really good churros. They're not dry as fuck. On point. Delicious. Good. Um, churros by itself, I would give it an 8.9. With the sauce, a 9.3. Yes, they're really pretty. They're actually pretty good churros. A little bit more better than the ones at Subway. Honestly, those the ones at Subway were a little dry. It doesn't even come with the sauce. But they are bigger, but that's the only thing I give credit for. But anyways, that's enough, guys. Um, we're just celebrating this. Um, I I think it's good. People that don't like Burger King, but they like it with the uh, interesting like burgers, like purple and shit. I'd recommend it. But well, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. Have a good one. And make sure you stay hydrated. Peace.